Okay, today's an exciting morning. Um, I should be getting a car today. So I've been here in Jamaica for about two months. No mode of transportation other than taking taxis and walking and relying on friends. So this is hopefully going to make my life a lot easier shopping and getting around and checking out Jamaica. So it's been a long process, but like I said, hopefully this morning I'll get it. But I'm kind of scared because now I have to actually drive on these roads. So let's see what happens this morning if I actually get the car. Okay. First morning drive. The roads aren't the necessarily the best. And people drive really fast here. But I think it's doable. Obviously, they drive on the left-hand side of the road. I'm leaving a little bit early to school because I don't want to. Uh, I want to try to avoid traffic. And I just got the car. It's expensive for what it is. I think the cars here are just expensive in general because they have to bring everything in. I think they mostly bring them in from Asia. But I decided to go with the Toyota because the quality would just be a lot better. And now that I've got it, I've only had it last night, so I've already noticed a few things I want to upgrade on the car. I gotta get some tires for sure. A couple things I want to fix, windshield wiper. But yeah, I'm pretty psyched to be able to go out and actually do some stuff now. Now, traffic's going to be really light this morning. That guy always waves, even when I go with uh, Tanya. Looks like I'm going to have to get some gas probably this weekend. It's already Thursday. Things to watch out for here, I guess, are taxis and um, motorcycles. They don't seem to follow the rules of the road very well. Okay, this is the bottom of Jack's Hill. Pretty busy intersection. And luckily I've been riding with Tanya in the morning, so I kind of am a little bit aware of how the traffic works here. But now I'm going to be going right into the sun, so the video probably won't be very good. I'll probably pick the video up in a moment. residential, really nice residential area. Okay, just dropped off Marcus, my office partner, and I'm heading home. It's about, what, 3.30. I'm gonna take Barbican Road back. There'll still be a lot of traffic, but it shouldn't take too long. Definitely got to clean these windows. So 
this is a sketchy intersection right here. Um, what I have to do is turn right, and it's like the Barbican Road, which is the main road I'm going to be turning onto. This one dumps into is super busy, and you just got to hope that the people stop. And it's like a wide arc that you got to make to get around to go right here. Let's see if we can do it. Well, that was an easy, easy right onto Barbican. And this is the afternoon. Every afternoon, well, since I've been here, it gets super hot during the day. And the clouds build up like you see in front of me, or if you can see it. And then it just dumps rain for like an hour. And then it clears up again. Uh, I noticed the same thing in the summers in Europe does the same thing in Germany. It's very similar. And in Colorado, it's also very similar. It heats up all day, dumps rain about three or four in the evening, or early evening. But yeah, traffic's not too bad right now, 3.30. Usually when I walk home, it'll be a little bit later, so it'll be about 4 o'clock. And I could walk faster than the cars on this road. I'll beat all of them, which is like about almost 2 miles. And I'll beat them to Jack's Hill, which is where I turn up. So my next purchase is a motorcycle in December. That's a whole nother ball game. That's what I like about Jamaica, they have all these fruit and uh, vegetable vendors on the side of the road everywhere. Not necessarily any better price, but easily accessible. I'm hoping I get home in time so I can go running before it downpours. Traffic's not bad. This is probably going to be the worst of it right here. Jack's Hill, where I live, is a major intersection. Jack's Hill and Barbican. So once I get turn up on Jack's Hill, traffic is gone for me. I found out, I think this weekend I'm gonna, I got two of the tires need to be changed out. So I'll go do that this weekend. They're about 30 to $50 a tire. Also gotta replace the windshield wiper like I mentioned this morning. Besides that, car should be fine. figure out how to get gas. It is not um, self-service here, so that makes it a little easier.
and they take all my American credit cards. So yeah, I could even just use my phone tap as well. Yeah, Texaco. I turned the camera off because I was on the call with uh, the cable company. They're coming by my house, so I got to get home. But yeah, this is Jack's Hill. The intersection was pretty simple. I was just sitting there, just got my turn right, and made my turn, and that's it. But you do get a lot of cars. I wish I would have caught it on camera. I'll get it next time, maybe. Is there's, you know, cars all lined up waiting, and you'll get cars that will just come down the opposite lane like in my lane to pass a bunch of people on the cut in line and that is very common here there's a lot of impatient drivers and they don't like to wait in line um, you just got to be careful and realize they're probably going to do that and don't flip out and go into a road road rage situation because you're just going to be a frustrated person for the rest of your time here because it's going to happen a lot